this is uh, Anthony Akpan, ECOF's National Coordinator for Nigeria. Uh, my coastline is located in the East Atlantic Ocean in Africa, uh, particularly in Lagos, uh, Nigeria. My coastline is unique uh, because of my childhood experience. You know, I remember um, particularly in the bar beach, my dad used to take us as kids, you know, during the holidays, like Christmas, Easter. Uh, my coastline is used for recreational purposes. Uh, it's very important for economic and recreational activities and tourism. More recently, there were some challenges regarding uh, plastic pollution, sea level rise that has threatened the shoreline. We organize cleanups at Intava, um, uh, clean up uh, around wall, clean up the, and sometimes. Uh, around some other activities which we participate in, such as the brand audit campaign by the Break Free from Plastic Coalition, you know, which uh, enable us to audit um, the polluting brands on this on the coastline, and we have continued with ocean literacy activities. We've continued with advocacy activities to enable people understand the connections um, of the human and the ocean. To so continue to make people to understand the, the ocean decade and uh, what it means, the ocean we want. So continuous advocacy uh, about the ocean and particularly the ocean decade and the challenges and the solution being proposed. So these are some of the um, activities which we have done and we are continuing to do to help uh, address uh, some of those uh, challenges. So there's need for more ocean literacy activities for citizens to understand the importance of the ocean and how it affects our lives. There's also need for more engagement with other ECOPs um, exchanges research for cross exchange of ideas.